Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The insane content continues inside of FIBA 21, Bundesliga team of the season, the Mbabu flashback SBC, and all of the content that we have been getting lately is insane. We had a Pepe SBC with Liga Nos Tots, 91 plus Prime Icon, the 83 times 5 Bundesliga pack. It's just insane, right? This is like summer heat level content, right? You guys remember Summer Heat, the promo that happened last year where EA was just throwing SBCs at us every single day. It really feels like that again right now in FIFA. These last two weeks with La Liga and Bundesliga, for whatever reason, they're really throwing out a ton of content. So I want to talk about that today about the market because a lot of stuff just keeps dropping. It's crazy. Fodder's on the rise. So if you bought some of those informs we talked about a couple days ago, GG's, you're in the money there. And just kind of what's going to happen today, even as we head into Tuesday, uh, probably more hype SBCs, right? There's no reason for this to stop. It didn't stop last week, so why is it going to stop today on Tuesday? Also, uh, the guaranteed Liga Nos Tots pack. I want to look at the new cards that came out and, again, go over the content that we saw yesterday and how I'm making coins right now because, yes, even though this market is going down, you can still make coins because there's a lot of fluctuations and there's a lot of people switching to Bundesliga teams, especially now with many SBC that have been out. Well, let's start with this card, right? The Mbabu SBC. Now, the one thing I will say is this content is coming out and it's crazy. I think yesterday, even though there was a ton of content, a little bit was, it was a little bit overpriced, right? You look at this Mbabu card coming in at 330,000 coins. And if you look at the card itself, People were kind of high for this, right? 1,900 upvotes, but also 3,200 downvotes on Footbin. So, in my opinion, I think a lot of the downvotes are just because this card's really, really meta. And probably people are mad because they did the Lazaro SBC just a couple days ago. And now there's another even better right back from the Bundesliga that is out in this game. So, that's kind of interesting that they put out Lazaro and Tapsoba. And now they put out an Mbabu. So hopefully today, I would assume we'll see some sort of other Bundesliga Tots player SBC today. Hopefully it's more of like a midfielder or an attacker. I know we've had a Waman and we have had Douglas Costa, maybe a left side player or like a striker or, or Cam or something like that would be a nice change of pace because we had a lot of defenders. Uh, another defender in uh, Pepe being released today as well. Um, but... I still think this is an SBC that a lot of people want to do because they know how good Mbabu has been this year in the game. You've got that uh, LaCroix card with a strong link, the Baku card can strong link him. So, you know, decent Mbabu card. Doesn't have a dynamic image yet, which is interesting. EA needs to update that. But uh, that was some pretty sick content that we had yesterday, uh, and it caused a lot of fodder to rise up. But also, this, is, this SBC is the one right here that really makes the fodder move because you have chances of packing team of the season cards from these SBCs, right? These 83 times 5, the 85 times 5 player pick when that was out, uh, or the, the Bundesliga 85 player pick, they required two team of the week or team of the season, two team of the season players today. And this is what really made the informs rise. This is the SBC that makes a lot of that fodder rise because people have the opportunity to pack those big boy tots cards. And that's what they're really going after today in FIFA when you saw the fodder go up. They're really going after these 83 times fives and trying to pack big boy cards from that. Now we've we've seen an SBC like this almost every single day. Like last week, we had the, the 85 plus player pick La Liga was released twice. The 85 times five was released twice. So we might see another one of those SBCs today, maybe to take a day off. Um, but I think for sure today on Tuesday, the one thing I want to mention is I think we'll probably get another player SBC from the Bundesliga team of the season. Maybe they'll give us an SBC from the Liga Nos Tots, but we should be getting that guaranteed Liga Nos Tots SBC as well, which this new squad, you know, I'll, I'll say this, right? EA's kind of giving the juice to Liga Nos, right? It's a decent side, not insane, right? For a secondary tot squad, there's some cool cards in here. Otavio, Pedro Goncalves, Grimaldo, those guys look really good, right? Rafa, 98 pace super sub, 96 dribbling, not bad. And the one thing I will say is GG's EA Sports, because you gave Pepe 80 pace, you gave Coates 80 pace, and Odomendi all 80 pace in this game. Huge pace upgrades for those cards to make them somewhat usable at the center back position. Um, with these links from Liga Nos. So not too terrible, but I think this guy's the most hype Liga Nos Tots card, man. Um, you know, I'm kind of getting like Joao Felix vibes, you know, with this kind of card. 92 pace, 93 dribbling, 80 defense as a center forward, 93 shooting, 90 passing, 82 physical, four star, four star, uh, high medium work rates, average body type, uh, and what are his traits? He's got long shot taker tr uh, and the flare trait. So decent traits, but overall a really insane, insane looking card right there. Uh, and solid content again from EA Sports. Now, I will say this. 
the market is drop, dropping off, right? The market's dropped off a bunch and it did go down a little bit more yesterday with all this content that came out. But I will say the amount that we saw some cards go down wasn't that crazy because I think if people were doing the most popular SBC yesterday was that 83 times five Bundesliga. And other than that, some people were probably just skipping out on the rest of the Mbabu and the Pepe and maybe that 91 plus attacker or the 91 plus prime uh, icon pack because I believe what it was, um, 91 plus prime icon upgrade. So, I mean, yeah, that's kind of cool, but you know, I don't think that's super duper duper hyped. It's just a lot of content. And that's why I've been, I've been kind of comparing this to the summer heat promo is just, it's just content and content and content. But again, as some of that content was overpriced, I think that's why you didn't see another insane day of drop-offs. Like Messi's down another 200,000 coins. That's pretty big for a high-tier card. You know, Varane's down like 100K. But then, you know, De Young, Jordi Alba, they're really low, but they didn't really drop off that much more yesterday. You I mean, you saw some right-backs and some defenders drop off a bit more. But if you look at Bruno Fernandes, he's 2.2. Son is 1.26. Those are cards are really not moved. And then Rashford's 2.9. He was actually 2.7 on the weekly sell-off. So some of these cards actually bounce back a little bit. Some of the very, very rare ones, um, Wambasaka down 455, he was even lower than that. Um, you know, some of these cards, Mukiele, of course, went down again yesterday with the Mbabu card coming out. So you do have some stuff that has gotten even lower, but also some stuff just kind of chilled, right? Atal was 417K on Sunday. He's now 450. Alar was just 350. He's 370. You know, Kent was 140 at one point, and Adama was like 500K flat. So some of these cards have kind of slid back up a little bit, but I think they're going to go even lower, especially as we get to like Wednesday and, you know, in that time frame with the guaranteed Bundesliga team in the season pack, I feel that like that might be a day where some of the stuff continues to go a little bit lower. But again, as we continue to kind of look across the game and just see where some of these prices are at um, in FIFA, and especially with like the SBC fodder being a little bit inflated in price as well, um, it's crazy to me that these TOTS cards from the Bundesliga are still this expensive. Sancho is 2.8 million coins. Um, I mean, you still got the Lewandowski card that is 2.2 mil. You've got the Goretzka that is still 2.7 mil. It is crazy to me uh, that these cards are still very, very expensive. These Bundesliga TOTS cards are still very rare. Uh, as you can see here, 2.69 for Goretzka. And I think, you know, that's going to make it interesting heading out into later this week is that it's really going to be the panic selling on these Bundesliga Tots cards because a lot of people, especially in defense, are going to want to pick these up for their teams later on this week as, you know, the the Tapsoba has been out, the Mbabu has been out, the Lazaro has been out, there's LaCroix who's in the team that is really hyped, Davies in the team, really hyped. I feel like these Bundesliga defenders are like the most hype part of this game right now. We'll talk about that later on throughout the week this week. Um, but again, I mentioned what I think is going to be coming today. It's probably going to be another pretty hype day on a Tuesday. But again, I just I just want to talk about this content for a bit because this is getting, you know, not philosophical, but like just thinking through it uh, here for a second. You know, we have all of this content. It, that's why it's feeling like summer heat. It's just tons and tons of content on the, on the menus. Like this 91 plus prime icon upgrade. They can just keep releasing these sorts of packs for the next couple of weeks uh, during team of the season. Like they could release a brand new icon pack that we'd never had in the SBC before uh, in the game, but it's in the code because it was there for icon swaps, right? And we've had all these brand new types of icon packs this year, icon moments pack, like a 92 plus icon moments pack. We've had the positional ones like the midfielder and the attacker packs, the 92 plus prime icon player pick. Now, a lot of these have only been available in swaps like that 91 plus prime icon um, upgrade pack. This was released in the last set of icon swaps and now it's released as an SBC. So going forward, we're probably going to continue to see this sort of content re-released in the SBC side of things um, going forward. So I just kind of, this is why it's feeling like summer heat to me because it's a lot of content coming onto the menus. Now, of course, right now fodder is continuing to go up. So it's kind of looking like, you know, it's maybe not the best of value. And people are, of course, probably not going out and doing every SBC like they did last week during La Liga because this market is broke and they don't have a lot of coins. And also I'm hearing the upgrade packs aren't even that good. I'm hearing some people are grinding the upgrades, uh, the premiums, the 81 plus Bundesliga and the 81 plus player pick. And I'm hearing that the pack weight is not that good. So I'm gonna try a few of those out this week myself because I haven't done too many, but I'm hearing that the pack weight's not that good. So I wanna see if that's actually affected gold rares or not. Are these guys down at all? 
Uh, looks like gold rares are, you know, 1.2 to 1.3k. So they're down maybe a little bit. There just doesn't seem to be as much hype for the players that are in packs this week, except for a few. Um, and I think that might be impacting the, the content a little bit. Like, I'm still calling this insane content, right? That's the title of this video. Because it is insane content. Because it's just the quantity and the quality, for the most part, is really wild, right? We go days where we have one SBC during Premier League Tots or no content during Premier League Tots to having four to five SBCs in a single day during La Liga and during Bundesliga. So I do think it's going to continue today. I do think it's going to be pretty hype content. And I'm, I'm excited to see what the rest of this week brings, right? Uh, in terms of the player SBCs. And of course, for a lot of the market stuff, if you if you guys are wanting to buy these Team of the Season Bundesliga cards, I think we're really waiting until that Wednesday time frame. Maybe even rewards this week. I think with this TOTS, with how rare they are, rewards is actually going to supply them on the market more. And we're going to notice that more than we have in the last few week so these guys actually might be kind of their lowest during the rewards time frame the high tier cards like Sancho Gretzka Lewandowski they might be their lowest um you know before rewards if there's any panic selling heading into Wednesday for the guaranteed tots SBC but honestly man I think these guys are going to be so interesting to watch later on the week I think these German and the Bundesliga team of the season cards could have a nice rise as we head out of packs after rewards and into the weekend just because they're so rare. I know there's not a lot of coins in this game, um, but these cards are so rare. I think they're going to have to rise, and so many people are going to be running the back lines with Mbabu, Tapsoba, you know, Lazaro, Davies, LaCroix. So Bundesliga back lines are the name of the game right now in FIFA, so I think that some of these links are going to be rising back up. Now, if you're watching for, like, out-of-packs investments, like let's say you want to buy somebody from Prem Tots for your team this weekend, you want to buy Sun, you want to buy De Bruyne, Bruno, or maybe it's just an out-of-pack special card, like a Bundesliga special that you want to buy because you think it's going to go up this week, uh, like maybe it's Gunter or Chan or whoever it may be. Um, I still think that some of those cards, if the content keeps continuing to be released like this, I do think that you will see a low point for a lot of those cards probably on Wednesday. Wednesday when that guaranteed pack comes out, that's the content that so many people in this game look forward to and they will sell some of the cards from their team if they have to to get that done. So that's kind of what I'm looking for for the out of packs market if you're looking to make any investments there. And if you're looking to trade right now, it's risky, right? It's very risky. Um, because of course, every single day, prices are dropping and stuff is going down. Now, I bought some cards last night. I bought this for 410 on a snipe during squad battle rewards. Um, that was a good one. Sold at 470. Coleman, I sold too early. I bought three of these guys last night at like 290 to 297K. He's up to 325, but I sold mine at 307 right around content drop today. Um, and now you can trade with some icons, get some undercuts on the 59th. I bought this uh, Eusebio for two point or two million coins flat, 2.006 technically was the buy price. And then I bought this Zidane for 2.74, which was a really, really good price uh, before we had that icon of panic today. So I'm trying to get the Zidane out in the 2.9 range. He keeps getting undercut, man. And once these two get bought and they go away, this guy is going to be back up to 2.9. He's a very, very rare prime icon. So it's 2 million coins for me just kind of sitting there right now. But that's going to be a nice flip when it comes to be said and done. So I'm watching the icons, right? Because these guys are fluctuating around. And I think they're just going to get rare. And you're going to be able to trade them, right? Especially on PS4 where you have some consistent demand. I'm not too worried about trying to flip some of these cards. I think it is going to be possible. But honestly, open bids. Open bids are the name of the game right now on this market. You, you search up any special card, uh, any foot birthday card, and you look at open bids. Um, there's a ton of them, right? There's a ton of these open bids, especially around the content drop because people are selling cards to go fund their SBC addiction every single day. Uh, so seriously, like the cards right now that are not in, that are not hyped, um, like, you know, the La Liga was very hyped last week. This, this Mendy card was up over 900,000 coins. He's back to 700 K flat, even under that. I would totally watch out for a card like this on bid or like a foot birthday Tiago or a foot birthday Hermoso or a Perisic or an Inaki Williams, right? Some of these out of pack special cards. I'd 100% be looking around the bids because yes, there may not be as much demand for them on the market, but you can get crazy low bids because nobody else is worried about making coins right now or bidding on these cards. It's, you know, they're all just worried about um, doing the SBCs, getting the content done. So a lot of those open bids are great, great, great places to be. And on corners of the market where not a lot of people are watching, it can mean great profits for you. 
uh, if you get those crazy low bids in. So that's kind of my advice for right now in this game. Also trading with SBC fodder is gonna be the way to go. I don't know, you know, we're probably not gonna see any big dips in the SBC fodder prices, but they're gonna continue to fluctuate if that's kind of your thing. It's not really my thing too much, but that stuff's gonna continue to move around. Today on Tuesday, I don't think we'll have any tradable pack supply um, I, unless they dropped a tradable SBC uh, as like a Bundesliga challenge, but even those don't impact the market that much just because, um, you know, there's not as much hype for those as there are some other cards. So that's kind of the state of the market right now. Another insane day probably coming today on Tuesday, if I'm being completely honest. Guaranteed um, Liga Nos Tots pack, hopefully a really cool player SBC, and the market just probably chilling and waiting one more day until that Bundesliga guaranteed. Then we have rewards. And we do it all over again on Friday with Serie A. So that's kind of what's going on in this game. But again, it feels like right now the content is just insane because the quantity is ridiculous. It's SBCs every single day, big name players, you know, maybe a little overpriced, but it's still wild to see these SBCs being released in the quantity that they are. So GG's to EA for putting that content out there. Again, I'm going to say this multiple times throughout the rest of the week. They're setting the bar high. The bar has been set very, very high. They got to live up that expe expectation now for the next few weeks with team of the season because if they let down, people are used to this level and they're going to be upset if it's up to that. So that's my opinion of what's going on in the market in FIBA 21. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.